My nephew calls it steak in a bottle. For the most part, I'm very particular. <laughs> I got started sort of by accident. Three entrepreneurs, all at very different stages in their lives, ready to set up shop between the stages at the American Folk Festival. My biggest thing was after not working for 25 years, it's like, who's going to hire me? <laughs> what can I do? Julia McCracken could be considered an empty nester, but the kitchen at her Topsom home is far from empty. She makes jam and lots of it. With more than 30 different varieties, her inventory has spilled over into the dining room. It takes her an hour for each batch. You do the math. She says all that time, though, is worth it. It's great for my self-esteem. You know, it is all mine, and it... It's nice to know people appreciate it. A business, she says, started by accident after her sister said, You should sell it. And the rest, as they say, is history. Ten years making jam, right? But it's still fun. And as long as it's fun, I'll keep doing it. It's always going to be scary to take that leap. Merrick Osier is a young mom who took a leap of faith when she started her own Biddeford-based business. When your bills keep coming in, you will hustle. That hustle really started for Merrick out of frustration. I had a lot of skin problems kind of in my early 20s and I could not find anything at the store that worked. But in order to really get started, she first had to swallow her pride. I used to make soap with my mom growing up and I thought it was the worst, most boring thing in the world. <laughs> but it all came back around. I called my mom one day and had her come up and teach me again, and then the little side project I was just going to do for myself turned into a full-blown business. Making those soaps turned into a slippery slope in the best of ways. I'll know as soon as I see a stone that I can use it and what it's going to be. She also has an entire jewelry line made from main stones. Two different creations, both from her heart and a little help from mom. Doesn't get better than that. You can only cook chicken so many ways. <laughs> you get kind of bored, it's like, oh yay, another chicken breast. Wanting to spice up her weeknight dinners, Jessica Moore started making spices with her sister. I decided to start Regina's Spices, uh, which is inspired by my maternal grandmother, who is Regina, uh, to just do the blends that I enjoy doing and the fun stuff. Fun stuff like spices made from smoked tea. I like to sample it on potato chips, and so, when you taste it, it'll taste sort of like a barbecue chip that doesn't have any heat to it. You won't find any basic table salt in her kitchen unless it's mixed with fresh herbs. Something like this would be great on fresh tomatoes, great in salads. She recommends using up extra basil by blending it with kosher salt. You could even get maybe fancy with some cocktails if you wanted to do sort of an exotic rimmer. Yeah. Her exotic spices are packed and ready to bring flavor to the American Folk Festival. We'd like to have a good time.